It's got your name on it, Leslie. You can't take it back. <laughs> Our next inductee is a leading Acadian genealogist. Lucio LeBlanc Constantino, a native of Lawrence, Massachusetts, maintains a website, Acadian and French Canadian Ancestral Home, that is widely regarded as a repository providing reliable, original, and comprehensive genealogical data. She's been published in several Acadian and French Canadian journals and speaks regularly at events here in the United States and Canada. Lucy, uh, Lucy delivered the keynote address for the 250th anniversary of the deportation of Acadians in Boston. She's been interviewed by many mainstream media outlets about her genealogy work, including Radio Canada, Radio Canada Television, and most recently, La Voix Acadienne on Prince Edward Island. Lucy is a member of the Association of Professional Genealogists, the Daughters of the American Revolution, and administrator of the Mothers of Acadia DNA Project, just to name a few. So the American French Genealogical Society is very pleased to include Lucy LeBlanc Constantino into the AFGS French Canadian Hall of Fame Class of 2016. so difficult to do. Records had been destroyed, 
They had been buried and lost. The mic. Yeah. The, mic the mic went out. Is the mic on? No. no. I don't think she touched anything. Have I said all this for nothing? No. <laughs> no. Cheap batteries, that's what you get. <laughs> so, anyhow, uh, you know, so many things happened, and um, it's been my great privilege to be able to go out and to speak 
and to share what I know. And so many interesting things happened. In addition to being invited to so many places, I never thought I'd be invited to, as a speaker, especially to world conferences. It's been a great privilege. Not so much the privilege of me, but the privilege of sharing what I know with other people, of making, <coughs> allowing, speaking the voices of our ancestors quietly for much too long. Another interesting thing that came about was about two years ago, I was asked if I would consider being a tour guide for a trip to Acadian historic sites in the Acadian Maritime. I've been there so many times. I knew everybody. I knew everywhere to go. But I gave that a lot of thought. And I wondered, could I really do this well? After a while, I decided, let's try it. So I agreed. And to be honest, it was the very best trip of my life because on that bus, we were 44 Acadian cousins having a great time. <laughs> and another trip is being planned for 2018. So the possibilities for sharing our stories, our histories, whatever they may be, are really endless. And I encourage everyone to embark on that journey. We need to share our histories with our children, with our grandchildren, with our great-grandchildren, so that all of our descendants will know who we are, who their ancestors were, and why, what, they, what they went through so that today we are here standing on their shoulders. So I want to thank my family for all the support given me throughout the years. My husband cannot be here this evening, but his wholehearted support is not ignored. He has supported me every step of the way and encouraged me and been proud of the work I do. Two, I want to thank my daughters, Rebecca and Sarah, who have cheered me on. They have encouraged me in my travels wherever I received an invitation to go, and they have expressed to me how proud they are of me, too. Each and their way have contributed to my endeavors. Rebecca, for my website, and Sarah is my personal editor. <laughs> Everyone should have one. <laughs> my thanks, too, to my sons-in-law, Tyler and Corey, for their support. Tyler helped me when in those early days of building a website. I get panicky. I didn't know what to do. I'd be stuck. And he and Rebecca would come to the rescue. Corey was thrilled when I did his family genealogy. And when they were expecting their first child born 18 months ago, they went through the genealogy report and they decided to name their son after his great great grandfather. Everything matters, and it's the little things. So I want to thank my friend Norma for being here tonight. Norma has accompanied me to all the venues where I've spoken in Massachusetts and here at AFGS. Last but not least, I want to thank the cousins who traveled with me in July on that ancestral, ancestral tour. Many came this evening, and I am grateful. So tonight, I feel like I'm the luckiest woman in the world. <laughs> I am being rewarded by my induction into the AFGS Hall of Fame for doing something I have loved throughout the years I've been committed to tell our story to tell the story of our ancestors, to raise their voices that were silenced for so long. So my thanks to so many who are here tonight, my cousins, my friends, my family, who are here to witness tonight when I feel humbled, yet very honored. And I thank you all for being here. And I thank the FGS. <laughs>